Jurassic. Hey everybody, Dr. O here. We're going to continue on with our series of the protein synthesis inhibiting antibiotics. So just a reminder that uh, well, we're, going to work, we're going to talk about the macrolide antibiotics today, very, very important ones. So they are going to impact the uh, 50S ribosome primarily. Let me go ahead and, and show you. So the macrolides, the, they were first discovered in, I believe, 1952. They found them in a streptomyces, which is very common. About half the antibiotics that, that exist today come from that streptomyces family, but it was streptomyces erythreus, I believe, so 1952. Uh, the first one discovered was erythromycin, so we can talk about that. But the really, really important one is going to be azithromycin. But first, how they work. So these are these really large complexes, and they gum up the works basically as you're making new proteins. And certain combinations of amino acids can't actually form um, as long as this drug is present, which means that you're going to stop protein synthesis. Because if you can make, um, you know, protein synthesis will halt if there's any one combination that can't be used. So it is going, it is going to inhibit protein synthesis. This, these would be bacteriostatic drugs. So uh, I talked about when it was discovered. The erythromycin is it is a uh, it's an important antibiotic, but it's only useful against gram positives. It just it doesn't it isn't as broad spectrum because it can't it can't enter gram negative uh, bacteria the same way that azithromycin can. So let's talk about this one because azithromycin you probably heard of it. It's the Z pack, right? The advantage of azithromycin much more broad spectrum than erythromycin, but the real advantage is its half life. So if you compare the two. Um, erythromycin has a half-life of about one and a half hours, and um, azithromycin or the z, z pack formulation would be 68 hours. This means that you can take one dose a day, and the z pack is, what, three days? So, so a total of three pills, whereas with other antibiotics, you're taking pills every few hours and for a much longer period of time. So that's what, so azithromycin and, or the z pack formulation, super important because of that. Um, every time you ask a patient to take another pill, there's the chance they're not going to take it, and the, and the longer... Uh, the treatment takes the uh, same same kind of thing. So this the short, sweet um, treatment protocol that the ZPAC gives us is is very important. So we have a broad spectrum antibiotic. It is effective against gram negatives, unlike erythromycin. And then that sweet, long half life is what gives the gives the ZPAC uh, such a good advantage. All right. Um, so those are the macrolide antibiotics, including erythromycin and azithromycin, the ZPAC formulation. Have a wonderful day. Be blessed.